If you're a renter, you're certainly not alone. Over 39 million people wow. rent here in the U.S. That adds uh, more than $1.3 trillion to our national economy. Big number. Yeah. Goes huge. without saying, but I mean, it's surprising that it's that many people to a lot of us. The face of America's renters is changing as well. That may surprise you. It may impact you as well. So. Here with what you need to know is Fox 29 lifestyle expert, Sherry O. Big numbers. Boy, it is. That's a huge, huge number. Huge. I mean, 39 million before. people is a lot of mm -hmm. people. I mean, understatement of the year. Yeah. Have there <laughs> always been so many renters? No. We are actually adding about a million renters a year now, which is huge. And what's really different, you guys, is that those renters are, we have the first time home buyers traditionally, mm -hmm. but they're actually waiting longer. So they're renting longer now because they're, they need to wait longer to build uh, a down payment because of wages they're paying off student debt, they're waiting longer to marry, and so on. We also have baby boomers and empty nesters who have never really been our traditional renters. That's not who we picture, but they are actually more than half of the new renters, is people over 45. And then we have a big influx in immigrants. We talk a lot about immigration and the job markets, and some people say, oh, well, you know, immigrants are taking the jobs, that kind of thing. The reality is that people immigrating to our country have a much bigger impact on rentals and on home prices because they're buying those homes than they do on the housing market. So that's where we're seeing most of the changes. Mm. That's I just find that to be so, so surprising. Is that is and the question I have going forward, is it going to continue? Absolutely. By 2030, we're expected to have 4 million new renter households a year. And a lot of that, the, the most of that is going to be in the South and in the West. So huh. states like Georgia and Florida and Nevada uh, and Arizona and Texas. Uh, so it's definitely a trend that's going to continue to grow and something that we should all sort of keep in mind when we're making our own plans for housing and our family housing for the future. So in 2030, it's 4 million more. Yeah. A yeah. year. A Every year. year. A year. year. My goodness. That, that, we're talking some huge numbers yeah. here. I mean, yeah, so what does this mean for our own wallets? Uh, what can yeah. we do now to come out ahead now that we know all this? Right. So we have this information. So someone who's thinking about a new career, an industry, or job may want to look into construction, yeah. particularly apartment buildings. Uh, someone who is, you know, thinking about the economy. These, this will have a huge impact on the economy. Investments. If you're looking to make investments for your retirement portfolio, apartments are a good place to look. And then a biggie is housing costs. So if you're someone who's concerned about controlling your housing costs, say for example in retirement, uh, or you have older parents, you may want to think about buying because this is going to drive up the cost of apartments uh, to rent. We're right now building about 250,000 units a year. We need right now about 325,000 units a year. So there's already a shortage yeah. building. We're already behind the eight ball. People who are going to be really impacted, this is across all price ranges, but really impacted are in lower income affordable and also there's supposed to be a shortage of about six million uh, rental apartments for older folks. So if you're going to be taking care of your parents, maybe you want to think about buying something that they're going to be able to live in instead of planning on renting because right. those prices are going to keep going up. My goodness. Surprising information. Yeah. yeah, it is. But you know what? It's good information and it's mm -hmm. information that if you act on now, you can actually really come out ahead and benefit. Mm -hmm. oh, good to know. Thanks, Sherry O. Sure. Appreciate it. Sure. Let's get a check of your Wednesday forecast. I've got